skateboard style. Oh man, he's got a super loose style for sure. He's tough and he, he, he jams, you know, he skates super fast and he's got good lines. Loose and groovy. He's got a really kind of laid back way about him. I mean, he was the first one that I saw, or any of us saw on video, actually bombing hills in San Francisco. Whether he's playing music or skating, it's like, it's thoughtful, but very spontaneous. He's just a creative powerhouse, really. So he's creative, you know, on a, from a skateboarding standpoint, that he was, you know, starting to ride and, you know, make video parts in areas uh, that people never had before. And then he was creative and, you know, with his music, through his whole, you know, from beginning to present. And then uh, he's been creative artistically, which is the one I think that people are least aware of. In terms of why the, the collab, we, we just felt like Tommy is one of the most respect, respected skaters of all time and somebody that's highly creative and, you know, more than syndicate worthy. Dude, it's just a running, running list of like the most epic dudes in skateboarding. It's a short list, but, you know, he's always been on there. Going to San Francisco was really just about getting to know Tommy better and getting the, the designers a little bit more information on, on who he is like right now, today, like what's inspiring him, what he's about. Tommy let us see like what he's doing with Crooked, kind of walked us around, gave us a tour of Deluxe, but was really, really interesting was that he took us to all, like he took us to his um, guitar store, which was just amazing to kind of go into this old vintage guitar store where he gets his music. He took us to his studio, so we got to actually see where he created like his albums and his packaging. The thing that stood out the most for me, it was like when we had kind of wrapped up pretty much the day and we were, we were, gonna, we were walking over to, uh, to this pub after dinner, you know, and the light turned green and he just like bombed this hill. And he went long enough and banked hard to the left and just kind of disappeared and it was long enough where we were like, dude, is, like, is he coming back? But, you know, of course he, he cruised back. He's like, I just had to get, I just had to bomb that hill, you know, it was perfect timing. That speaks to this, that spontaneity, dude. It was just perfect. Once you get to know the person, it's so much easier to kind of design around it. And uh, one of the things that Tommy always wanted from Vans was a black leather slip-on. And it was funny, like, we just didn't make one. <laughs>